Hey guys, Josh of Bain Tech. I've got Expert Shield screen protectors here, and this is for the iPhone 5, 5S, and 5C. Now, right off the bat, like I was really impressed with their presentation. I got a th nice box that actually kind of reminds me of a cigar box. Uh, so just really cool stuff. I was greeted with a couple of thank you notes, a really nice note from Oliver, one of the associates over at Expert Shield. The other nice little factor that I discovered was their screen claws. They're just really big, really nice, very nice high quality. So these are going to be screen claws that I'm going to use for a long time. So really nice to have that. And then on the inside, of course, is the screen protectors. Really nice stuff. I really appreciated their presentation and just the professionalism that they've had. Really cool stuff. Uh, so I have the iPhone 5, 5C, and 5S screen protectors. I've also got some iPad mini protectors in here as well. So we'll get this all unboxed, get it on, see what I think about it, kind of give you my opinion of how the installation goes and out the overall quality of the screen protector. So we have the iPhone 5S here, and as you open it up, you're going to basically get the the original parts you got the screen protector then you got a another wipe so really cool stuff and here on the back is the installation you got basically one two three step abc and they give you some really nice detailed instructions to help you have a successful installation lots of good tips so definitely be sure to read it over but basically in a nutshell make sure that you have a nice clean environment dust free Make sure there's no air conditioning vents going on, fans or anything like that that's going to push around dust. Uh, the next step is, you know, have clean hands and just, again, be in a clean environment. You're going to want to wipe off the screen. Make sure there's no dust or lint or anything like that because you're not going to want to get any kind of dust trapped in between the screen protector or the phone. And if you do, there are ways to get it out, which is like a little tape. And you just basically lift up the screen protector and get it off with that. And if that ever happens, I have a link in the description of how to get that off with another video. But basically to get this installation going, once you get it all cleaned and you have a nice clean atmosphere, is to peel off that first layer. And I usually like to just take my four fingers and guide it down and I have the phone horizontally. That's always been the best method for myself. And as you guide it down, you can kind of feel the edges of the phone and the screen protector meet. And you can know that it's nice and symmetrical. And once you think you got it lined up, definitely using the home button and the speakers up at the top as guidelines, just let it kind of rest in place. And it basically goes in place all by itself. And there was like very minimal bubbles at all to work out. And once it got it worked out, it was actually pretty much a perfect installation, went on very easy. So overall, the installation was just great, no problems whatsoever. And you can kind of use the glare of the light to look over the screen protector, see if there's anything that you need to fix. But once you got that done, all you got to do is take off that second layer and that's it. And make sure the edges are down and it's good to go. And one of the things I noticed about this was that it goes pretty close to the edge, but not close enough to where it's going to be too much of an issue or anything like that. So I really enjoyed putting this on because it was just effortless. And then, so the installation, I would say, is definitely like a 5 out of 5 rating. Now, as far as the actual screen protector itself of how it feels and whatnot, it feels good. It actually feels kind of like glass. It's not a too plasticky of a feel. It's not just like glass, but it's pretty close. And so it's got a nice natural flow to it. My finger didn't feel like it was getting hung up or anything like that. I know some screen protectors in the past that I've used just kind of felt like it was getting in the way or something like that. So um, overall, I really think that this is a pretty good installation. It all went pretty good, and I don't have any complaints really at all. Like this is actually a really good installation. So overall, I would say a 5 out of 5 for this. There's not much fingerprint residue left over. And I try to put fingerprint residue, so that's a pretty good indicator that they got some nice extra technology with this. Typing was a breeze. So yeah, guys, if you thought that this video was helpful to you, please give it a nice thumbs up. And I appreciate it, guys, if you would subscribe so you can see more videos like this.